Hello, welcome to Budget Beauty, where I help you look flawless for less. Welcome back and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and this is Budget Beauty. We do everything beauty on a budget and this includes subscription boxes, mystery boxes, dupes, you name it, it happens here on Budget Beauty. Today we are unboxing the Ofra mystery box. I will go ahead and put here on the screen the cost of the mystery box and at the end we will go over all of the products inside and their retail value to see how it compares to what we paid and if this truly is beauty on a budget. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't subscribed, we'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button, ring your notification bell so you never miss a single video. I upload several times a week so you definitely don't wanna miss out. I will go ahead and link the Ofra mystery box. It is still available at the filming of this video down below for you, as well as all of my other favorite subscription boxes, the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video if you'd love to recreate this look. And of course, follow me on TikTok for more beauty on a budget. So let's jump in to unboxing the Ofra mystery box. Here she is. I have literally just opened the tape. Here's a little sneak peek at what's inside and let's jump in. There are a lot of products in here. Wow. Okay, so we're going to start with this little guy on top. This looks like a deluxe size of their liquid lip. This is in the color Monaco and I have a few of their liquid lips. This looks like more of a foiled liquid lip. Oh yeah, it's definitely a little bit more foiled. Not my favorite formula. I mean, it's a pretty color. It's definitely that fall kind of vibe of color. Foiled lipsticks aren't my favorite. Now they do have their place, so I will be using this. I wouldn't purchase this necessarily, but I'm not mad about getting it in my box. Next up, it looks like we have a individual blush refill. So Ofra sells Z palettes or magnetic palettes that you can fill with these individual blushes. I believe they have individual shadows as well. So I don't own their Z palette. I do have Z palettes, so I'll probably just pop this blush into one. But this is a really, really pretty color. So it's kind of that watermelon pink color. I really like this. Ooh, and it's so soft. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. There's the blush color. It is that kind of bubblegum pink. Really, really pretty. And like I said, I'll just pop this into a existing Z palette. And this is in the color Pink Lady. Next is a skincare product from Ofra. And this is their Blemish Treatment Mask. So let's open this up, smell this. It does have a safety seal. Ooh, whoa, that looks like glue or like clay. Whew, it is strongly scented. It's very, very minty, but look at the texture of that. It is kind of like a clay texture. It definitely smells minty. It's a very, very thick. It says an acne fighting treatment mask. Now I love a mask. I always keep a face mask in my shower and then I'm able to just put it on while I'm in the shower and rinse it off. So I'll definitely use this if you suffer from blemishes or acne. This could be really beneficial. It gives me that whole like Vicks VapoRub vibe, but not unpleasant. I mean, it smells good. It's just definitely minty, if that makes any sense. Next up, we have a full size of the Ofra Liquid Lip. This is a red color. Let's see if it tells us the color. This is in the color Watermelon. Now, I like liquid lips, but I always have to put over a gloss because I don't like it when it dries down and it's dry on my lips, but I do really like liquid lips for their staying power and the fact that I can put a gloss over and make them nice and shiny and feel a little bit more moisturized. This is a beautiful red color, perfect for the holiday. So there it is right there. It's more of that blue red, which I really, really like. I think that this complements, especially my skin tone a little bit better. I love this. I own a few of their smaller liquid lips and I really, really like them. And I love a good red lip. Next, we have a little small package of the Cleanse It Off cleansing wipes from Ofra. There's 15 wipes in here. This is nice to have especially when you're swatching and you need to wipe them off. So I generally keep a pack of makeup wipes in my beauty area. I don't use these generally to take my makeup off. I use a makeup eraser, but these are nice to have in a pinch or if you need to wipe off swatches. So I'm excited to have these. Let's see if they have any scent. Nope, no scent at all. So I'm pretty excited for these. I feel like I need one right now because my hand is covered in swatches. Next is a mini 
highlighter and you guys Ofra's highlighters million out of 10. They're the best highlighters out there. In fact, today I'm wearing the Milk and Cookies, one of my favorite highlighters. Not only do I love highlighters, but I truly, truly love Ofra's highlighters. So this is a mini in the color Pillow Talk. It is in the new packaging. It does have a little mirror, which is pretty cute. And there is the highlighter. Like I said, they have the best highlighter formula. It's so buttery soft. It's so bold. So here it is. You can kind of see that it has that pink shift or that pink undertone. Love it, so excited to have it. I only have a couple of their highlighters and I don't have the pillow top and I love their highlighters. And last but not least, we have some hand sanitizer. This couldn't come at a more perfect time. It does have a safety seal. I am going to open it up though so we can smell it. It doesn't really have much of a smell, kind of an aloe type of a smell. Definitely not an alcohol smell, which is really nice. And like I said, this is perfect timing and it's definitely a product that is usable. So let's recap the products that we received in the Ofra mystery box. So first we have hand sanitizer. We have mini highlighter in Pillow Talk. We have the cleansing wipes and the blush, the full size watermelon liquid lip, the acne treating mask, and the small little foiled deluxe size liquid lip. So that is everything in the Ofra mystery box. Let's go over my final thoughts and we'll compare the value of this box to what I paid for it. I think this is a fantastic mystery box. It is the perfect mix of makeup and skincare. I like that they gave you hand sanitizer and makeup wipes and things you don't always see in subscription boxes or mystery boxes. I think it's a major bang for your buck if you love Ofra products or if you want to try out a lot of the different products from the Ofra line. Like I said, their liquid lips and their highlighters are so, so good. Those two products are worth it alone for me in this box, but I think this is a fantastic deal. Highly recommend, again, if you want to try out Ofra or if this box interests you, this is a mystery box, so I don't know if everybody's is going to be the same. I would assume it's going to be pretty similar, but you may get some different colors or different products, but of course, this will be linked down below for you. I will go ahead and put here on the screen the total retail value versus what I paid for it, and let me know down in the comments, what do you think of this mystery box? Do you want to get it? Do you already have it? What do you think of it? For beauty on a budget. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, of course I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single mystery box unboxing. We do everything over here on Budget Beauty. Don't forget to check out the description box for the Ofra mystery box, all of my favorite subscription boxes, the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video if you'd like to recreate this look. And of course, don't forget to follow me over on TikTok for more beauty on a budget. Thank you so much for watching. Way to go, Ofra. I'm loving this box and I'll see you next time. Bye.